Ladies and gentlemen, hello, welcome to another vloggy vlog. Yes, we are camping at the Motorcycle Headquarters Camp Club. Motorcycle Camping Headquarters. That right there is NYC Scrambler. He's wearing a white helmet. Uh, that's my head. Oh, that's his head, sorry. And that's, and that's uh, Moro Noir. One piece of uh, trivia about Moro Noir, he's from Texas. Did you know that? Because he's like, oh, I ride in New York City. I ride a Yamaha in New York City. And it's like, you should be riding a Harley in Texas. You didn't even do the Texas accent. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know why I came so hot out of the gate with insults. But I've been getting bullied for the last three hours. On our, we, we all took a motorcycle ride together this morning. I was leading the pack this morning and they couldn't keep up with me. There was a lot of sweepers. And uh, Jay has the faster bike, so he was kind of there. But Ryan fell back, I'm the fell oldest. back. I'd like to stay behind and check up on you guys. <sighs> anyway, enough chit chat. I'm going to build a tent right here. Uh, you, yeah, you are the biggest father out of all of us. How many kids do you have now? Six, seven? Just 12. Just 12. 10 minus 12 times three divided by two. Divided by the other four six. Yeah. Oh my God. Your wife is totally good. No, but you know what? Your wife watches all my vlogs. She comments on every single one. She has actually seen many of your vlogs. She will see this vlog and she'll have questions for you. You might have to sleep with your motorcycle tomorrow in the garage, you know? All right, so we got our... We're just right on the floor with the New York City rats. And the coon, raccoons. <laughs> uh, so anyway, we had a great time. I actually didn't ride with them. I actually came up last night because I need my own camping time. I don't need to camp with everybody all the time. So last night I was solo camping. Um, we're gonna stake our tarp because there's no reason to stake your tarp at all, is there? No, but I do it anyway. I do it anyway. So there's my hatchet, boom, boom, super easy. Pardon all the shit talking, I'm just excited to go camping with my friends. You know how it is. And I'm totally on a slant, by the way. This is a terrible place to put a tent, but it's totally fine at the same time. Boom. Here we go. I'm I'm putting a stake into your gear. I'm about to put a stake in your crack. Ooh. I hope the stake is tube stake. It is. And it's a little tender. Oh god. This is the hardest thing I had to do in my life. Here we go. I got it. I I hope my crack was Was my crack actually showing? You guys are fucking perverts. Oh God. I didn't know you had a birthmark. That's not a birthmark, that's a tattoo. <laughs> All right. Here we go. A what? Yeah. The position is, it's not important. Usually I'm right under the tree, but I just don't feel safe being right under the tree. I mean, we're all gonna die yeah, we from other trees because this tree is a killer tree. Widow, widow maker. All right. So this is the tent, boys and girls. I guess I'll do my tent. You should. NYC Scrambler, you're not gonna do a vlog. You're not into vlogging anymore. 
Oh wow. The the old forgot my GoPro excuse. Oh look, we're all moto vloggers. Isn't this crazy? This is the moto vlogger special. Uh, it's like a mo moto vlogger meet. Oh my god. The only person we need now is DJ Moto Vlogs and Minister Moto Vlogs. Minister Moto Vlogs, I bet he's a hoot to camp with. A what? Minister Moto Vlogs cracks me up. He's the fucking man. I'm telling you, and he lives. You know, he probably doesn't live far from here. Mr. Nice Guy, I think it's Mr. Motovlogs. Yeah. Mr. Motovlogs, you're invited to the headquarters to camp. This is a very exclusive invitation. But he's making it a cafe racer, which <laughs> gives him a pass. Now it's okay. No, I love Harleys. DJ lost his spot as Mr. Nice Guy. Right? DJ hasn't been nice in fucking years. <laughs> And then he sold his Ducati, he's almost dead to me. Oh. No, he's, he's okay, he's still alive. Oh. I'm excited for that uh, Long Way Up show that got released yesterday. Long way up. Ewan McGregor and the other dude riding electric Harleys. I haven't seen that. You know what I'm talking about? No, it got re released yesterday, Friday. No. Literally, it's like they take those electric Harleys, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. And they ride them from fucking the bottom of Argentina all the way to uh, San Francisco or something. You and McGregor and who? And some other dude. Oh. No, are you seeing Long Way Round and Long Way South and all that? No. Or whatever. Oh, you don't watch adventure motorcycle shows? That, that exists? What channel? I don't know. The, the, the new one is on Apple TV. Oh. But, but before it was on like HBO or something. Oh. You're an Android I've person. I've never bought an Apple product in my life. But anyway, it's like really exciting. Really? You haven't? Nope. You know, I haven't bought a single Apple product in my life until I bought my first iPhone, like three. And ever since then, <laughs> I just buy a new iPhone. You're not about the Max? No, I'm still doing a PC. And I'm actually about to build the sickest PC ever. You're not going to build the sickest Mac ever? No. I'm building this PC that's going to be like ready to... I can. I am building this PC. I am. Are, are you? The biggest part of the what build is inside your head. You're dude. Massive, dude. Oh, this is a four person. I upgraded. You like lay down this way. <laughs> Didn't you have a two person tent? No, never. Oh. Yeah, my tent does look big. Uh, yeah. I'm going to sleep in there with you, actually. Instead of building mine, I mean, what about that warmth we could share? Yeah. We have, we have to sleep, uh... You know it's gonna be cold tonight, bro. No, we have to sleep, what's that, the 69 way? <laughs> no, we'll just spoon like normal people. No, not to butt, or whatever it's called. No, we'll just spoon like normal people. Come yeah, on. no, we can spoon, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> not like Ryan, I fucking asked him once, he's like, no. I don't spoon. No. Yeah, fuck spooning. I bet Ryan likes to, like, just... But you know what, he also rides a Yamaha, so... Oh, wait. Wait, what? 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 Oh my god, was that a shot? I think this yeah. is a... For, by now you should know, anytime I mention the brand that shouldn't be mentioned, it's a shot. <laughs> and Ryan is not even a trader. If anything, he went from Honda to Yamaha, that's an upgrade. I mean, I also don't know shit about anything. I agree with that. I mean, anything to a Yamaha is an upgrade. Oh, except from Ducati. Yo, my tent is straight up on the hill. Yo, my, my, mine was an upgrade. <laughs> yeah, yours was fucking giving you problems. That's DJ, what he thinks. <laughs> DJ had a fucking lemon. My bike is still going. I got 53,000 miles on it. You know two people that have Ducati lemons. Wow. Yeah. So what, do you, what does that make me? Ratio. Do you think I like, is my bike a lemon? No. no. Seven, six years, seven years, 53,000 miles. I'm just saying, I never heard of a Yamaha lemon. I've heard of Yamaha laptop, the C1. I showed those guys a picture last time. <laughs> I haven't heard of a Yamaha lemon, but I've heard of a Yamaha laptop or a saxophone. Is there a Yamaha yeah. laptop? Yeah, C1. Google, Yamaha C1. See, where's the 
anybody right now in the comments. Patty with the laptop? They made a lot of things like hair clippers and radios, but never a laptop. Hair clippers? Yeah, that's how they started. One of the, they used to make Ducati hair clippers. Those must have been the most hipster shop barbershop. Fuck ever. yeah. Actually, it was uh, during World War II, so they're trying to survive as a company, so that's kind of a tasteless joke. Okay? Wow. But why would you know, Mr. Yamaha? Yamaha, I heard Yamaha was a trust fund baby, Mr. Yamaha, and when he started building motorcycles, he stole other people's designs, and just like, that's how he started his company. Back in Japan. I don't know if it's true. He was like driving Ferraris and stuff. People are like starving and stuff. And he's like buying Ferraris and importing them from Italy through the axis of evil. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this part of the vlog. <laughs> Things are kind of getting dark. Um, no, Yamaha is a fine brand. <laughs> I bet he kidnapped the Italians and, and enslaved them Yamaha's too, right? It's possible. Imagine when they did drop the bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, it was actually Harley trying to destroy Japanese motorcycle makers. <laughs> this part I'm definitely cutting out. <laughs> Cause that's definitely not true. I don't think I'm cutting it out. I'm recording too. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Harley is like, wait, 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 you guys yeah. need some help with this? And then they, they bombed the wrong fucking town. <laughs> Just like, oh shit. That is totally tasteless. Not outside the realm of possibility. No. Let's see. The chances of that are slim, but never zero. That's not bad, I guess. Oh my god, he actually is testing the ground. Look at him. I just go I just go by the eye. I don't feel like I'm rolling. You're gonna be fine. Alright. The hardest part of building the whole tent is always blowing up the the mattress. And that's the very next step. Here we go. That's what she said. <laughs> well, no, but this is a two-person tent because I'm a, a two-person camper. The only issue with it is it's a little bit heavy, you know, as far as tents go. Yo, my fucking tarp is still wet from like last weekend. Don't do that, boys and girls. That is a terrible, terrible mistake. Also, I, I ask you apologies ahead of time because I feel like I'm dropping a lot of swear words for no reason. It's because I'm excited. I'm camping with my friends. Oh my God. So exciting. So I'm winning the first stage. First stage is mine, building a tent. Second stage is setting up your sleeping pad. I'm also gonna win that stage. Pretty sure I'm gonna be the champion tonight. I don't believe it's gonna get down to 35 tonight. 35, we're talking about 32. And believe it, believe it. All right. Fin uh, by showing you like a weather report, like they record these things through computers. Well, you don't have that on your Android. How do I know you didn't like? We'll do it on your phone. We'll do it on your DOS DOS phone. Here, we'll walk down to the signal. We'll walk four miles down fucking hill to get this Wi-Fi. You know I got Wi-Fi over here, right? Are you worried? Like you, like your family doesn't know where you are. Good. I just left while they were sleeping. It's probably the best thing. <laughs> like, why isn't breakfast yet? Or more like he there, She's like, he finally left. <laughs> he finally I I think he's gone. And when you don't come back tonight, they're gonna be like, holy shit, it really happened, it really happened. <laughs> and then when you do come back tomorrow, they're gonna be like It's gonna be all sad. Oh. Like, God damn it. No, you walk into the living room and be like, who the fuck is that dude? Oh, that's Papa. That's Papa. <laughs> it all could happen. Nowadays, 2020. Before you know, you're asking me how much rent is at the Moto Camping Club. 
<laughs> you know, you just like, I just need a couple of months. No, but that would be the best thing ever for the motor camping club. If you lived here for like three months, I'd come back and this place is probably going to be like a castle, a fortress. <laughs> I probably wouldn't be able to get in. There's all kinds of things built out here. Good Lord. The problem with putting a tent here, because look, I want to put out my like vestibule, but then we keep, we'll trip over it. I don't need it. I'll tuck it back. Actually, I'm going to zip it all up because I'm going to keep the warmth inside. These guys don't believe me when I say it's going to be really cold. But I'm going to laugh at them in the morning. It's going to be great. This might be the cold. What was the coldest we've ever camped? Like 40, right? 35? Yes, yeah, six in the morning, it's gonna be 32 degrees. 32 degrees is freezing, as far as I remember from the science. It's cold as fuck. Yeah, so it's gonna be interesting. We'll see who the bitch is in the morning. <laughs> I think we're all gonna get up at like early, early hour. Mm hmm. Oh my god. Good or? I don't, I don't know what's a good one. What's the best way to put that? I'm not sure. Hard? You're a good blower. Hey. Okay. Matt has strong blow skills. Yeah. At least I'm good at something. You got some lungs on your son. Yeah. <laughs> what else can that mouth do? <laughs> All right, here we go. Now I need to make a pillar, a pillar. And today I'm actually using my 20 degree sleeping bag. And I wonder how it's gonna fare. I'm actually gonna sleep with all my clothing on. I really hope it does get that cold because if, if, if none of us are actually cold, I'm gonna be disappointed. But that- We'll learn a lot about us sleeping in the snow. Yeah, because in the snow, it's gonna be 20 or less, 15. That always sounds better, like, during temperature like this. this last winter, but it never snowed. No, no, but it was fucking freezing. It's not that fun. I want, I want to sleep in the snow. Well, I feel like proper winter would be a good test for snow. Because at night, when it's 15 degrees, you better have some proper gear. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. Good thing about tonight, there's no bugs. Yeah, no. You can see that dust in the air. That's from the four wheelers. Because yeah. there's a road uh, about, I don't know, 150 yards down there. 150 yards, huh? 200, right? Hmm. Oh, we got to go to the creek. We're walking to the creek. I don't give a fuck. It's going to be fun. Let me drink a couple more beers. God damn it. Why are you guys... The creek is awesome. Look, we've come far enough. We're already in the forest. God forbid we go explore. Dude, I had to drive four hours to get here. <laughs> well, that's because you ride a Yamaha. My Ducati, I can do it in two and a half. <laughs> get a real bike. Wow. I'm sick and tired of this. Sick and tired of this <laughs> argument. And if, hours, huh? and if I get the 821... Maybe two hours? Forget it. Meat and potatoes. With the MIV exhaust, Motodemic up front. Fuck. You'll never... I'm gonna get all new friends when I get the new bike. Because I'm gonna upgrade my whole life all around. I already knew that. I'm gonna start drinking tequila. Neat. Yeah, I, I was just talking to someone about that. Funny, so. About what, drinking tequila? Yeah. I would never do it. I would vomit yeah. everywhere. It's like the guy's talking, like you wake up with no hangover. No. But you also like, what are you, about? I wake up up at you also like break your ankle the night before, you know? You're like, this is great. I'm in jail with a broken ankle, but no hungover. It's so funny, I took a swig out of the tequila bottle. Dude, last time I drank Patron, 
Oh my god, I almost lost my bicycle because I took it on the J train and I like, yeah, this story is, never mind. No, nobody's impressed. Nobody wants to hear stories where it's like, dude, I got so drunk, I almost ruined everything. Okay, bud. Imagine if you forgot uh, your sleeping bag. You forgot your sleeping bag? Yeah, he's gonna have to go into yours. Mine is small, yours is larger. Is it? Oh my god, that's terrible. All right, all right, all right. For a second, let's keep it together. So, okay, so this, he just said a disgusting joke. I'm not gonna repeat it. Uh, am I even still recording? I think so, right? Yeah. Oh my god. All right, so this sleeping bag. Well, there's a second part to that. No, can you please? Can I just finish setting up my tent without insults? These guys are so fucking crude. Anyway, uh, this is a sleeping bag made by, by Teton Sports, 20 degrees. So it's gonna be very interesting to see if it actually works. That's gonna be the real test of the baby Jesus. I really do hope it gets really fucking cold because I, I want these guys to learn a re lesson in respecting mother nature. Because right now they're they're, they think I'm bamboozling them. But the truth is, I'm not bamboozling them. Alright, so, that's the tent. Now what I do, always, take all the bags, and put them on the inside. So the way, all my shit is not being eaten by bugs and such. And all of my camping bags that I will need to break down this whole setup are inside this one bag. Boom. Now my tent is complete and what I need to do is drink a beer immediately. All right, so I got my headlamp. I brought some of these like fire starter blocks. I don't know if we need them. They're kind of garbage. Jay, did you bring any uh, uh, fat wood or anything? Yeah. Oh, fat wood will be even better. So I got my headlamp. Not only did I bring fat wood, I brought some prime fat wood. Oh, snap. Is that another sex joke? No, that's not a sex joke at all. Okay. Well, I don't know. At this point, I'm like treading very carefully. Oh, I get it. I have a, I brought a little cutting board. What are you talking about? For cutting steak and stuff. Oh, I thought you were going to use a sex joke. Oh my God. Oh my God, I don't even know what that means. All right, uh, and I also brought a hat, because a hat. That makes sense. A hat stuff. Definitely more sense than a cat. Oh my God. All right, so. That's it. We're all set. Now this goes inside the tent. Just like so. And this goes here. Wait, I have a... This? Where is my goddamn cables? One of these guys stole my cables. Oh no, never mind. No, never mind. No, the thief was me. I stole my own cable to mess with myself. All right, dope. This I will just close like this to preserve the heat, the warmth. So long story short, I won the whole race. What are you talking about? I'm one. You no, you, you, don't, you don't have a fly trap on and your bags are still fucking all over the place. Okay, You're destroying okay. nature right now. Tent race. I'm done. No, no, run, no rain fly. It's not going to rain. It's going to be cold. What's that have to do with rain? It's it has rain to do with fly. warmth. No, no, but it has to do with <laughs> trapping the heat inside. All right. I was trying to 
fake you out. Listen, I am recording, but I'm gonna cut this part out. <laughs> I'm cutting this part out. <laughs> All right, anyway, boys and girls, thank you so much for watching me build a tent. That was great. That was so fun. All right, so now we're gonna have a beer and maybe look at this fire with these guys chopped up. Thank you, bye.